Hey mum. I know I should have brought the trailer and saved all this hassle. Look at this. Right, I'm coming back to try again because I want to really. This is going to be an absolute shambles. Wait till you see the size of this thing. problem of the day, as always, is a single, she's pretty sore, she's been laughing a little while, I'll do it, Stan, Stan, right Dirks, that's enough, Enough. Doesn't look good, but we might be lucky. Probably not. How often have we been lucky? Definitely different management next year. Hey, different manage next management next year of these singles. Wow. I need wonder this. This is just ridiculous. We're definitely going smaller in the gimmers next year. Make life easier. Make an absolutely fine wee lamy. There's the lamy there. What we'll do is I've got a pen set up right over there. We'll just pop the pen round mum and leave her to work away. Just use my glove to tie her up. Right, come on dogs. Come on. Up. Hope everyone got a pee. Oh Maggie. Sorry Maggie. Ah. Right, wait there. Yeah, I really should get one of those yellow yellow clip things that holds the legs. Dead easy, then you can go away and get your hurdles and pop on a wee pen. Dodo. Come on, Lammy. Heads up already. What a big beast you are. You're okay, Lash. You're a bit sore. So spend some time with your Lammy. And you'll feel a lot better once I disappear. Right, let's disappear. We'll come back later. Backwards lamb this time, folks. I see the two back feet. So let's just try and get her away from everything else. I don't think she's been lambing too long. That's the, the one good thing. I think this lamb should be absolutely fine. There's a wee fresh pair of twins right there. So we'll just work, work my way over to the side here. As soon as I get her separated, I'll let the dogs off. She wants to go back to where she was initially lambing. She's a, a gamma, so it's always a wee bit harder to work with, but this time we'll get her separated. Here, 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 here. Right, dogs, right, dogs. Why didn't? I said when I lambed that last one, I says, Can we put a glove in your pocket? I didn't put a glove in my pocket, did I? Coming backwards, time's important. Get a lamb out. Jesus. Oh, I've maybe been lamb lambing longer than I thought. Oh, Jesus. That's serious. Oh. Oh. Wee lamb's okay. Wee lamb's okay. If anyone wonder me, give them a little smack like that. It's like giving them a kick start. Like, Ideally in nature, the mum would stand up and they would drop to the ground and get a dunt. So I always give them a big slap. And that's the, that's recreating that drop on the ground. Getting the heart going. Bit of a shock factor. Put that round there so she gets a look now. It's like mastermind. I've started, so I'll finish. Although I really should have a glove. So, talk through what's happening. As we're going for the legs, the head's falling away. So all you do in that situation is get your hand behind the ears, 
pull the head as far as you possibly can. And then when you go back for the legs, the head will be lined up straight. That's a bit of a small lamb. You okay, lamb? I think you are okay, but you're not you're not the best looking specimen. I think you're okay. Maybe not. Ah you are. Come on, you are, aren't you? Yeah, you just hang on, what if I do that? Boo! Wake up. There we go. It's alive now. That makes no difference, by the way, I was only joking. Mm. Quite peely wally looking colostrum there. That's more like it. You gotta love these lambs, Mum. Let me just wipe my hands. I should have glove, I hate that. Getting on my sleeve and all that. Sure, but right. See, See, I had a glove in my pocket this morning, I used it for that last single. When I'm seeing the sheep and I turn the camera on, I might have put a bloody glove in my pocket. That'll be the next. For next time. Next time. Woo! Chilly breeze, let's shut the windy. Another fresh one with a second one on the way. We won't stress them out. Need them to work away. I'll give her doing it herself. She's up and licking them. I waited to check. Another clean lambed. Beautiful pair of lambs. Beautiful you. There's £190 well spent. So it's to be a wet day today. We're just up to get a run around Lizzie's sheep. Jockey's here. Hey, say hi, sheep fan. Hi, sheep fan. <laughs> Angus, you say hi, sheep fan. <laughs> Let's go check some sheep. So we're just going to take some of these hurdles up to make a couple of pens in the field just for any problems. Let's get going. So this looks like quite a nice wee serene spot. You've got a bit of natural cover here from the trees. A bit of shelter from the wind on either side. Let's set some pens up. Well, it's another stinking wet day, sheep fans. But 10 days on from now, the next 10 days have all to be dry, apparently. So we're looking forward to that. We're having a pretty good morning. A very good morning. Had a eumastitis that I've, I've just brought into the shed because our bag's that bad. So we'll show you her in a little bit. She's had some Draxin and some Metacamp just to keep her right just now. And I'm just heading out to see a single that I saw started lambing. She's a gamma. No, she's a one crop, but she's got a small compact sheep, so I'm a bit worried about uh, whether she can lamb herself or not. Well, there she is. What a doddle. I should never have doubted her. Lovely little single lamb. Lambing out. Oh! She's stuck. She lambing. I'm about to say lambing outside's easy and now we've got this, whatever's happening here. She's lambing. Quick glove. Oh, that's what about that for timing? I came for somebody else and we found her stuck. She's actually got stuck here. Let's see what we can do for you. <coughs> wow, wow, wow. That is more dramatic than I was expecting. <coughs> oh, you were there. You were there. You didn't need me. Oh, jeez. You didn't need me. You were there. Well, the problem is now, I need to set you up and stop you running away. No, 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 no. Do you know what I was thinking? I had this really intrusive thought the other day, right? Right, I had this thought that, that the, the gap there is like a perfect gap for a sheep to stand. If I wanted to just like take a sheep to the pen. So let's try it, hang on. That's too tight. I need to go in the other door. Oh. It was a good idea, but I think this would work. Oh, I think it'd work if she wasn't so fat. So I'm, what I'm thinking is, I can literally pop her in there, 
Shut the door. Oh, don't run out the last side. Last, you wouldn't fit in the last way. Then my wee lamb can sit here on the heated seat, like that. So now, mum just sits there. Lamb just goes there. And uh, I just pop her in the little pen. She's just a wild uh, gimmer. I actually think she might have a one crop. Or a gimmer. Double green. I'm just going to this wee pen over here. You're okay, mum. You had it all. Oh, wrong side. Turn round. Hey, Lammy. Heat up and at it already. It's great as well because the lamb can't fall. Hey, mum. I know I should have brought the trailer and saved all this hassle. But it's interesting to see if it worked. And it kind of did. But you wait there, please. Wait there. Right, Lammy. Come on. Right, Mum. Theoretically, you should just back out of here. Although I know you're not that happy with me. Come on. Back out. Back out. There we go. Right, love that lamb, Mum. Pick up all my rubbish. Theoretically, you shouldn't have so much rubbish lying about. Then life would be easier. Leave her to it. Hey, the one that we put in there this morning, we Owen popped over and let her out. Absolutely fine. Although I do see a fresh one on the hill here, I better just go and check. Oh no, it's up on its feet. I thought it was looking a bit ropey, but it's on its feet. We'll come back and let her out shortly. Wait till you see the size of this thing. Do, 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 do. Tiny tot. Come on, wee tiny tot. Oh, so this is a triplet that was born to one of the ewes we bought, one of the clins. And wait till you see the size of it in my hand here. Tiny wee tot. So, colostrum hot box, which I'm going to switch off just now. Save my mum one about the electricity bill. Uh, and uh, this wee tot is going to go in the pet lamb shed. Now, someone asked yesterday, or the day before, I can't remember, uh, to see the pet lamb shed. We'll show you it just now. In fact, I might actually go and put the heat bulb back on. We put it off yesterday. Well, we put it off this morning. Now, what have we got in here? This is all our problems and... I hate you, Lammy. Just... Let's give you the heat bulb, guys. Cause... Right. You're going to be allowed the whole time. So, I'll show you wee Lammy next to another wee lamb. It's absolutely tiny there, so we just need to watch it doesn't get trodden on. We'll leave it sitting to the side a bit. Little, little tiny tot that... We couldn't find the mum from yesterday, you remember she was, it was getting bashed, so I just brought it home. It's in great spirits. There's one in here with joint ill that we lifted. You remember when we jagged with joint ill? Well, I just decided that let's just lift it. I made the decision. The second time we caught it to jag it, it was actually really difficult to catch. I thought there's no way in the next three days we're going to catch and jag this. So let's just lift it and then it's have a better chance of recovery. Um, because we ended up last year with two or three lambs that never actually came right, so you see he's actually really bad. He's, well, he's, he's actually walking. He's walking on it. You see him there walking on it quite well. Lamb, lammy. See him, he's actually going really well today. Because he's got a little bit in his, his back leg as well, so I think he's on, I think he's actually maybe had. It was this morning his fifth day. Yeah, actually this morning was his fifth day. So he's had, that wee lamb is so loud. <laughs> Jeez, that <laughs> lamb. <laughs> Cam, Cam Dune. Should I just close this door so the, the wind doesn't blow in? Cam Dune. Jeez, he's loud. Uh, so I think that's on, uh, yeah, that's five days. So he is walking much better, but he's still all swollen and horrible. So I think we just, I think we probably just keep the treatment going a little bit and see what happens because. <sighs> See when they end up all, we've spoke about this before, see if you end up with lambs with swollen joints and all hobbly, you can't take them to market anyway. So it's like, they're just stuck in this horrible spot where potentially you could say, well, euthanise them now, which is just grim. You know, he's a happy wee lamb, so we'll jag him with antibiotics, keep it going, see if we can get on top of it. Quickly show you the girl with mastitis. Here she is here. Her ears a wee bit drooped, I think that's more to do with the tag than actually, someone's put the tag in the wrong bit. Anything else, but she's got a big, a big sore bag on her. 
so we lifted her lambs, but just no milk at all, just big solid, rock solid bag. And she's quite sick looking, although she's brighter looking already. Aren't you lass? Well, no, you're still not that bright. But yeah, we'll keep on top of her, we'll keep you abreast, pun intended, of her uh, development. And it's a stinking day. But see when it's only one day, you can get your head around it, it doesn't bother you so much. Like mentally, I'm like, it also helps that we're in a lull. We're coming to the tail end of the mules and the cheviots haven't started yet. Okay, yeah, some of the clins have been born and unfortunately that's the smallest one's been born a couple of days early, causing problems, but we're in this little lull just now. Shh, don't ruin it. Okay, so just had a phone call from a neighbour that someone's been in at their door to say there's a lamb tangled up on its, in its jacket and that they've phoned the SSPCA, which is like an animal cruelty uh, charity. So I'm guessing it's the one near the road here, this one here. Like, this lamb here. <laughs> These jackets are designed, that they just bust off. Like, you see it there, that, as that lamb's growing, the jacket just busts off. And to be honest with you, I'm surrounded by triplets and stuff here. I'm not even going to rush and try and catch that lamb just now because it's just going to cause carnage here if I bring the dogs. That's a big lamb, that's not easy to catch. I'm trying to see if there's anything else possibly. In case I'm being too harsh on the person. I mean, there's a little lamb here with a jacket on. It's absolutely fine. Just checking in the lane here. Yo, wee triplets, you alright? Off spot. No, all good. Hey, Spotty, come on up the back here. They're all running over trying to get fed. That said, that wee lamb looks quite hungry. Let's go have a look. You've got hungry wee lamb. You're a triplet and mum's left you. There's that mum there. Oh no, you're not that hungry. Maybe you're not lost. Maybe I'm just woke you up. I've just woke him up. I need to try and find his mum. All oh, the girls are following me. He's a blue X on the back. I'm just going to put him out because I can't see the blue X, but he's quite lively. Oh, there's one blue X. There it's there. Right, let's go and get in. It'll be a while until it finds her. There we go. Here it's down here running about. That's it there. Oh, never catch it now. This is a shambles, so raw, just in a massive pile now. That's probably how he's get mixed up in the first place. Look at this. Right, I'm coming back to try again, because I want to really... This is going to be an absolute shambles. Oh, where is this wee ex? There he's over there. United. Okay, now just double check up the fence line here, make sure there's no other potential lambs caught in their jackets, in case I'm being too harsh on that person. Now, I don't mind people ha keeping at you know, if they see something, I'm, I'm, ha I'm delighted for people to step in and, uh, and to you know, phone and, and pass their concerns. No sign. No sign. Beautiful sight on the evening rounds. Another clean lamb with twins. Rushes are great, and trees. Typical left to GoPro, just realised. Give it a kick, lad. Lamb coming backwards, that's the first clean that we've had to lay hands on. Backwards lamb. Should really be marking those lambs as uh, beef locks if we have to lamb them. I need to get your tag sorted though. We've left that a bit late. Think of something else, blue spray. Little Gimmer here had two premature lambs, but great mother again thinks she's just stood by them the whole time. I've got a little single in here, uh, a little triplet in here, I'm going to try and do a wet foster with her. Stick on the pen that we built earlier. Over there. Let's try it. She is, uh, she's absolutely crazy, but she's great mothering instincts. She was having a wee muzzle at that lamb till I started speaking. Now she's going to nail it, is she? 
might need to go one foot down the road. Is she going to take it or not? Pretty useless wee llama pick for her to be fair, it's a wee bit knuckled at its front feet. Oh, I'll go and watch from a distance. She is mothering it, it's just a shade of lamb shouting for its own mum. That's sometimes a bother lifting a triplet as opposed to lifting a pet. Oh, a wee lamb's got a belly full of milk. We'll see what it's like in the morning. So the cheviots have started, show you that in a second, although I've been silly. Uh, I've came away without my flask, without my colostrum. And the first sheep that lambed, is the one you're seeing here on the screen. Bad bag, typical. And I've come here unprepared. So they're starting two days early, which is not bad. But, yeah, hmm. the good thing is I'd say they're both at a souk. Not off this show, there's two others stealing. So I think they've had a souk, so... I'm going to leave them be just now, and I'll come back with Colostrum uh, before dark and give them a wee top up, maybe a lift one, we'll see. Or did I just lift one now? No, I'll just lift, be sensible, just lift a lamb now, take it home and leave the other one to work away. She's got one good side, one bad side. So this girl had lambed away over that side of the field, so I brought her over here to the pen and the two pinchers have followed her over. I think we're going to have more lambs tomorrow folks. Right, there's one in for a souk, so I'm going to lift this other one. This is a little bit mental, a little bit daft. Should have done this in normal time, not at half past eight at night. Amateur hour with the sheep game. So I think in here is that with just a couple of pallets, we can make a fully functioning pen. Although I've hardly cut my strings long enough because I'm a fool. Oh, and it's falling over. Hold it with my head now, I'm eating the microphone. <sighs> you don't have to be rich to be my guy. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular style. I'm more compatible with I just want your extra time and your kiss <sighs> So how it goes Cause you think I used to like uh, be a police officer A normal kind of job And now look at me Now look at me Coming up for 9 o'clock at night Sleep deprived Building pens out of wooden pallets I'm bloody loving it Please nobody watch this and think Oh, I saw that in the sheep game, it was a good idea. This is amateur. But I thought just doing it three would be a bit of a tight pen, is it? That's probably not a bad size pen, actually. Yeah, that's a nice size pen. Why did I cut the strings so short? What was I thinking there? I was thinking tying normal wee hurdles. But actually I'm tying massive... Blooming pallets. Now the fun bit, I need to go and catch the sheep. Right spot. Hup, hup, hup. Last action of the evening. Catch the sheep. Pop in a wee pen so it can love its two lambs. Get my pets home, get them fed. Come back in the morning and see how things are. And make sure I've got my full lambing kit with me. You guys in the GoPro probably can't see it, but I thought mum was neglecting these lambs, is she? Yeah, she's shooting them. Okay. Okay, take it back. Take it back. So after all that, she doesn't need me at all. I'm sure the pen will come in handy in the morning anyway. And yeah, that'll do us for the night now, folks, after all that messed about with pens. Wooden pallets. Terrible. I'm going to get some metal hurdles up. Right, that's us for this one. We'll see you tomorrow. See how many more cheviots have lambed. I think they're ready to kick off. Let's go.